I've built my own prompt engineering coach. Today, guys, I wanted to share with you how I've built a specific GPT that will allow me to create better prompts, hopefully. I decided to build this GPT after the video that I uploaded a few days ago about how to become a better prompt engineer or how to give better queries or better prompts for the LLMs so well, so that they will know better what we expect from them and this way we get better output in a more cost effective manner and we don't need to make many iterations. So after creating the video I realized what I basically already knew but this was a great reminder that the way that you craft your prompts does make a difference and we shouldn't be lazy when writing a prompt although it sometimes seems very convenient and tempting just to write a few lines and then expect GPT or whatever LLM that we're using to give us back exactly what we're expecting but more often than not obviously the AI doesn't completely understand what we are requesting and we need to provide a better prompt with more context, better guidelines, more cues, more examples, etc. So, to cut a long story to start, what I did here, and this, if you don't know, is the GPT Builder. I've used the Builder in order to build a prompting coach. Now, why I believe this is better than just iterating on different uh, prompts I think the most significant advantage here is the fact that I downloaded these two PDFs from the Microsoft website and these are PDFs these are documentation from Microsoft regarding how to write better prompts and as I said I cover them in the video that I uploaded the other day about better prompt engineering and since we are using them as a knowledge base, the response that we are getting is based first and foremost on the guidance provided by the Microsoft team in this documentation. And only afterwards, this is uh, the, the rest of the response or like the rest of the knowledge is based on what GPT was trained on, which isn't necessarily most updated and isn't necessarily concise and precise like this documentation so as i said the other day i think using rags knowledge bases is becoming more and more important especially due to the fact that especially not due to the fact but especially when we are using or we need data that is constantly evolving and maybe technical so since there are many updates all the time having the most updated knowledge base is crucial. So this is why I decided to add this knowledge base. And now let's uh, let's test out the prompt wizard. So let's assume that we want to write a snake game. So can you help me with prompting? With writing a prompt. for generating a Python snake game. Now the prompt wizard will respond and the goal is the goal is basically that the prompt wizard will write how we should write a very good prompt for requesting an LLM to create code for a, a, a snake game. So basically, my plan is to use this prompt wizard many times until I already understand the chain of thought and I will already intuitively will be able to write more detailed and more and better prompts. So let's see. Okay, prompt for Python Snake game generation. Title and description. So the title... Python script for a classic snake game. Description. Create a Python script for a simple yet functional version of the classic snake game. The game should be playable and visually clear. Gameplay requirements. 
the game should have a snake that grows in length each time it eats an item, e.g. an apple. The game ends if the snake runs into the screen border or into itself. The snake should be controlled using the keyboard arrows up, down, left, and right. Graphical user, user in, graphical interface. Use basic graphics, preferably with the Pi game library for rendering the snake items and the game area. The snake can be represented as a series of connected squares and as items a single square. Include a score display that updates as the snake eats items. Game mechanics. The snake should move in continuous loop with a consistent speed. The items should appear randomly within the game area and remain stationary until eaten by the game. Additional features. Code structure and Python version libraries. Okay, so as you can see, the first of all, it's very well structured. Second of all, it's very detailed and way more thorough than what I would have done. I would have probably just said, can you create a Python script, a Python script for me? Can you build a snake game for me using Python? This is probably what I would have wrote initially. But as you can see here, we need to become better prompt engineers. We need to be more detailed and we need to actually plan what we are requesting. Obviously, we can use the LLM. I mean, utilize it to help us plan, but this is how sh we probably should outline our uh, prompts. As you can see here, now let's ask it for, can you write the prompt down so I can just copy and paste it. Okay, so it kind of feels to me as if this is like a, an overview of the prompt, but not exactly the prompt. So. But here again, it, it seems to be following the same structure. Let's see what, uh, I mean, how it finishes off. And then we can copy this and just paste it. Okay, let's paste this into the chat. Let's see how it responds. This is interesting because normally when I just requested GPT-4 to create a, a snake game for me using Python, it was it would have worked, you know, which is the most common test that all the other YouTubers are doing in order to see if the code is is performing well or not. But in this prompt. It seems a bit more comprehensive. Uh, it 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 asks for the score. I think it yeah. It, did it ask for the score or not? Yeah, it, it wrote a score. So let's see what it what it uh, the model spits out now with the better prompt, and whether or not it's it's actually going to be better than what we just get when we just write down one sentence prompt of just give me a snake game using Python. Even if it doesn't perform, I do believe that writing better prompts and more detailed prompts is the way to go. Um, instead of writing something shitty and short and then just iterating, I think it makes way more sense to, to ask for, to write longer prompts. One thing that I'm using, one tip that I can give you guys that has really helped me is Either I'm using this Chrome extension to record my prompts, and then it's easier for me to share more context with the LLM because I'm recording, I'm not typing. And if you don't want to use this uh, Chrome extension, which isn't so precise, you can use um, 
you can use ChatGPT via your mobile. So I often use the Android app of ChatGPT in my mobile, and there you can just record whatever you want, and it's pretty precise. And then I take it over to the desktop, and from there I, I, I start to iterate. But the initial discussion I do via the mobile, which has the bet- a better uh, text-to-speech functionality. Okay, now let's see what the result. The Python script for simple has been developed, but it cannot be executed in this environment. Okay, for sure. Install pip game, run the script. Okay. Let's copy the code. Snake. I already have this, that library, so no need to. Maybe I don't have that library. Oh, wait a second. Okay. Okay. Let's see if it is working. So first of all, we have this the your score, which I didn't see so far. Whenever I built the snake game. So far, so good. Okay, you lost. Press Q to, okay. Again, it also happened to me in the past that it didn't include all the screen, all the, I mean, the headline of when you dis, you get disqualified was out of bounds. And you can't enlarge the screen. So this, the prompt, the better prompt didn't cover this, but never mind. You lost, press Q or C to play again. Okay, cool. So as you can see, the difference between using the prompt wizard in this case, in my opinion, was the fact that, I mean, the only difference that I saw um, at I mean, with the end re- with regards to the end result, was the fact that I did have the score, while in the past I didn't have the score when I was just prompting like the one-liner. I don't think it, it is so significant, but again, I'm not sure that this use case of creating the simple snake game is where this prompt wizard is supposed to shine. In my opinion. And I'm going to out- keep on updating you guys. The prompt wizard is going to be helpful when I have like a more complex project, this is the first uh, like first reason for using the prompt wizard when I have more complex project. And the second reason for using the prompt wizard is basically to enhance my skills of prompt engineering and create a better process of prompting and thinking and like deep thinking about the problem and the solutions that I want to see and the solution that I want to instruct the LLM to help me to build. So these are like the two main aspects that I'm expecting from the prompt wizard. Obviously, I will keep you posted about any progress or any new findings. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and share it with your friends. If you're not subscribed yet, please do. And until next time, guys, keep on automating.